T-Man 978 Chill Review. Hello everyone, T-Man 978, reviewing Transformers Alternators Subaru Impreza WRX Silver Streak. I believe this is the first time Hasbro used the name Silver Streak because they couldn't say Blue Streak for whatever reason. Well, that reason is they didn't have the license for it, so they started calling him Silver Streak. But luckily, one thing I can say about Hasbro, they, they've worked long and hard to get a lot of Transformers names back. Because they don't even have to call him Silver Streak, they could just say Blue Streak, and they don't even have to put Autobot in front of that. Anyway, there's the front of the packaging. Here's this side right here, zoom in on that, or focus on that, I should say. Here's this stuff back here. Alternators never had a bio. Later on, they got mottos and stuff, but no bio because they had to deal with the car companies or whatever. Here's this cross sell down here. I reviewed Hound. I'm probably going to put a link in the description to that. And I have a playlist for all these alternators, but well, let me get them out of this box. Inside the box, we see these vague images of his car mode, Silver Streak, the front of the car, the rear of the car. The instructions are still taped down here. I didn't need them because I had Smokescreen, who transformed the exact same way. You could use this as some type of cheap-ass display stand. Here's Silver Streak in his Subaru Impreza mode. And isn't it nice for an old car? If we zoom in, we can see his Subaru logo right there and his Autobot symbol, which has silver around it. What a quinky dink. Nice transparent headlights and whatnot. All that was nice. The hood opens up. The detail on this Autobot symbol, I got unfortunate because it's a raggly mess. <laughs> but anyway, we can open that up so you can see his car detail back there. Let's see if the steering wheel turns. No, it doesn't. Hollowness or transparency, I should say, down there because it doesn't. His robot mode or his transformation didn't fill that out. The rear door can open. The seat can move forward. This rear door can open up, revealing his nice robot leg interior right there. <laughs> and back here, more transparent lights with a ton of detail. And these Tampo Subaru logo, logos that look kind of bootleg now that I look at it after years. This is nice and silver. You see the license plate back there. And I must have dropped him or something because he has a few scuffs. There's a gas tank. Here is his nice wine color rims. I can't, I don't think he has any brake details in there. It's definitely not picked out in paint, but. There it is. He's nice. The wheels are rubber. Rubber. He rolls. And I forgot to mention that the trunk can open. And I guess you, no, you can't probably you can't put anything in there. But anyway, that's that for the car mode. It's nice. It's silver. It's depending on how you have it transformed, you have to make sure it's like lined up perfectly, like this back piece the window needs to be under there I don't know what's going on with it it's not lining up oh yeah he does have silver side view mirrors right there is that just paint yeah that's just paint never mind but there he is for car mode transformation Here is Silver Streak in his robot mode. Now, this is still a beautiful, beautiful action figure right here. Beautiful Transformer. 
Like, man, he has a lot of car kibble, but the what they did with it hid it away and made it useful and whatnot. He just looks so bulky and strong. And even the head. Let's zoom in on that head right there. But look at that. He has vents on the side, kind of reminiscent of the Seekers, to be honest. But his head sculpt was different than smoke screens and way different than Prowl when they eventually made him, who doesn't share the same body mold, unfortunately. That made a lot of people sad. But this figure right here still holds up. Here's his engine that I pulled out earlier. Flip that for it. Open the hand, just like with alternator, I mean with masterpiece figures. The only thing different is their trigger finger is actually separate. And you'll peg this in the hand, much like masterpiece figures. Get in there, and bam, now he has an engine blaster, a red engine blaster, which is very reminiscent to this. They were really trying to go with a somewhat of a G1 feel. But here you go with this, here's this comparison. No, I didn't do the vehicle mode because they're completely different. And this is a different scale as you can see. The car is small, they're, they're not similar at all. Now, this line right here was an excellent placeholder until they finally gave us masterpiece Autobot cars. But as you can see, since they went with like a real world look, it doesn't have anything like this black hood right there, which probably existed back in the day. But they did what they wanted with the original Transformers. But with alternators, they were forced to do what the car manufacturers wanted. But yeah, you can see the similarities in their design. So they did a good job with what they had back then. Only thing that I disliked about this figure is you desperately needed thigh swivel. And for people that complain about hollowness, I never actually paid attention to that. That never bothered me, and I never noticed the hollowness in the legs till now. These things have been out for over 10 years. That never, ever bothered me. That's crazy. And I wish that they somehow incorporated bicep swivel, because... These things cannot put their arms in front of them like the Masterpiece figures can. But as far as articulation, the head can look all the way completely up on this ball joint right here. Of course, it can rotate. It has some wiggle right there. Waist joint. Arms can go out. They're hindered by this little steering mechanism, which I didn't show off. But if you look at my... Smoke screen review, which I'm going to have a card to you or in a link in the description, you'll, you'll see that steering mechanism. The arms, if you move it out the way, the arms can go all the way out. It has like a double jointed elbow. And the wrist is on a ball joint, which is inside of the forearm. And I showed off the fingers. The legs can kick forward. They're hindered due to the sculpt. So they don't kick all the way straight out because it bumps into this little area right there. The legs can only spread that much which used to also bug the heck out of me. That's definitely why I wanted some thigh swivel. The knees bend less than 90 degrees. And it has like a secondary bend right here due to the transformation. The toes can go forward, back, and they don't pivot, which is unfortunately, and he does have a heel spur. So, that's that. Like this, in all honesty, it still holds up. I wish the wings or the doors could bend up like the Masterpiece figures do. If you bend these up, you'll pop them off. And he has little holes right there. Eventually, Smokescreen in Japan got a little shoulder, shoulder cannon. I wish they would have gave him shoulder cannons to make him look even more like his G1 self, but I have him now, so I don't even have to wish for any of that stuff anymore. So, 
yeah smokes i mean silver streak i could still recommend them if you want to get alternators figures it's still a nice piece to have on you in your collection all the alternators basically but this one was one of my favorite ones this mold the mazda rx8 and the scion to me are the most solid molds that have the least amount of problems but yeah this has been silver streak i hope you enjoyed watching me play with him again after all these years but anyway if you like this video give me a like share it subscribe comment t-man 978 out of here